right, friends, you know her from such things as the Pom Pom Thief, the Lisa Robot 3000, and the Lisa's Inner Monologue Show. But did you know she's also a chef? That's right, so let's hear it for the hostess with the mostess, the queen of the kitchen. Let's get cooking with Miss Elisa! It is hot today. Hi guys, how are you? Oh, it is so hot today, I thought we needed a cool and refreshing treat. So, we're making popsicles! Oh, popsicles are so much fun because you can use almost anything in your kitchen to make them. You can make chocolate popsicles, vanilla popsicles, fruity popsicles. I guess you can make veggie popsicles if you wanted. They are so fun. You can be so creative with them. So today we're gonna make orange cream popsicles. They're so delicious. So I'm gonna talk about my ingredients because we need to prepare it. Do you remember the first step to cooking is preparing your ingredients? And we prepare our ingredients just like God prepares us. He made us in his image. He loves us. He gave us gifts and talents. He's given us everything we need to live life with him. Just like I have everything we need to get cooking today. So let's talk about what we need to make orange cream popsicles. We need orange. So this orange is orange juice concentrate that is frozen in a can. I need vanilla to make it taste delicious, some yogurt and some sugar. That's it. And then we're gonna use these tools to make it. I have my blender, we're gonna mix it all up in there. And then you always need something to freeze a popsicle in. So I have these fancy popsicle molds, but you don't have to get that fancy. You can use a cup and a straw and freeze it in there. Or I have these which stand up six at a time. Isn't that cool? So I've got everything I need. I'm all prepared to make our popsicles. But I'm gonna still measure out the ingredients while you go worship and we'll come back here to mix it up. No matter how hot it is, I still love bopping and dancing to worship. Well, we are prepped and ready, and now it is time to follow our recipe. We always follow our recipe very specifically because we know that the food will turn out delicious. Just like we follow Jesus. Jesus lived life in God's way. And so we 
follow Jesus. We learn about his stories and we follow him so we can also live in God's way. Isn't that cool? I think so too. All right, you ready to mix up our orange cream popsicles? Great. Now, it's so easy. All the recipe is, is put it in the blender and mix it. So first we'll start with our yogurt. Pop it in there. And then we're gonna put our orange juice concentrate in there. Make sure you get all the good stuff out. Pour our sugar in. Make it sweet and delicious. And finally, some vanilla to make it really taste that yummy cream. All right, then we cover it up. Turn the blender on. And let's go. Oh, see it all mixed together? <gasps> Awesome. I think it's mostly mixed. I'll probably give it a few more seconds. But while I, while I do, go ahead and see what Miss Melise is doing and hear the memory first. And I'll meet you back here in a few minutes. Okay, just gonna get it right here. Yes, yes, yes. That's the right angle. Okay. Oh, yes, Miss Lisa. Thank you. I'm just working on these strawberries for Miss Elisa's popsicles. I want to get it just. Right. Oh yeah. Doing some good work on these strawberries. Speaking of good work, let's do today's memory verse. God began a good work in you, and I am sure that he will carry it on until it is completed. That will be on the day Christ Jesus returns. Philippians 1, 6. Nice. All right, back to this good work. We get this strawberry sliced up just right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, back to you, Miss Elisa. <laughs> hmm. Thank you. Miss Melisa cut these strawberries perfectly, and now we can put secret surprise hidden strawberries inside our orange cream popsicles. Let's do it. I'm just gonna add a few, and they're gonna float and make a cool design in our popsicles right before I pour the good stuff in it. Look at that, they're so pretty! Okay, I think everybody got an, a secret surprise in theirs. All right, now we pour our cream and orange and delicious vanilla mixture into the molds. Now remember, you can use so many different things to pour your popsicle mixture into. I have this fancy mold I'll pour it into. But also, you can pour it into just cups. Pour some into a cup. Whoop, ooh, that one poured fast. And then we have these. All right, good. So once you put the mixture in, just stick a straw in. And we're gonna we're gonna cut the straw so it doesn't isn't too high out of our popsicle. And you know what? You can straighten it up as it freezes. There we go. Okay. Whoop. These popsicles are all ready to pop into the freezer. And while they freeze up, you're gonna hear today's big God story about the fruit of the spirit of gentleness. I'm so excited for you to hear it. It's so beautiful. And then we'll come back and see how these delicious pops taste. We are about to witness one of the great phenomena of the natural world. The number you have reached is not in service. Clear the closing doors, please. Ah. Mm. Nice calming waves. Ah. Breathe easy, John. Ah. Hey, John. <laughs> Thank you.
I'm making soup. I'm in. All right. Can you grab a pot? Yeah. Hello, everyone. That's Brandon. And that's John. And this is The So-and-So Show. What an unnecessarily confusing way to begin the show. No, oh, I don't know. I thought it was as exactly as confusing as it was supposed to be. Right. What are we doing on the show today, John? Oh, buddy, are you ready? Oh, I'm re What? For what? Are you ready to consider a rumble? Yeah, okay. Yeah, because we've got a guest today that's going to knock your socks so far off. They're going to travel around the world and end up on your hands. That's right. Your socks are going to become gloves now. Oh, that's quite a guess. It is. Today, we've got a wrestler on the show. He's the Great Lakes International Heavyweight Champion. He's the current reigning Duke of Dubuque. But maybe more important than all that, today, he's someone who knows stuff. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Come on nice in. to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hello, sir. Oh. Um, uh, tell everyone who you are yeah. and uh, what you know. Yeah. <sighs> oh, Whoa, hey. My name is Hayden the Vaporizer. And I'm a professional wrestler. Oh. oh, cool. How'd you get that name? My mom had an uncle named Hayden. And she named me after him. No, I mean, I mean uh, the vaporizer part. Because I vaporize my opponents! All oh, right. Uh, Mr. The Vaporizer, uh, it is a tremendous honor to have you here, and I just, I have so many questions that I want to ask you. So, so first of all, your finishing move is called the Mars Rover. Now, why is that? Because I send people to outer space and leave them there! Oh, <sighs> oh of course. <laughs> it makes total sense. Okay, question number two. Of all your opponents, who do you think is your number one nemesis? It would have to be the heartthrob, Zack Slater. Ooh. He gets on my last nerve. Okay, um, stay there, chicken. Third question, what do you like to do when you're not wrestling? Floral arrangement. Oh, oh yeah, I knew it. I knew you'd be a floral arrangement. Oh yeah. Ever since I read Eileen Johnson's breakthrough book, The Art of Floral Arranging, I've been a floral arrangement maniac! Uh -huh. um, you'll forgive us, Hayden, if we're a little surprised. It just doesn't seem like dealing with, with flowers is a good match oh, for a why? guy like you. I, I got... Is it because I'm big? Yeah. Strong? Is it because I crush the opposition into the very vapor I breathe for power? Well, yeah, all of those things. You know... I spend all day throwing people around in the squared circle. I have to be strong. Mm -hmm. So when I'm on my own time, I like to be gentle. Gentle? You, <laughs> Hayden the Vaporizer, the guy that threw Teddy Rich off at the top of the cage. Yeah, pal. I spend a lot more time thinking about flowers mm -hmm. than I do wrestling. In fact, Hold on here for a second. Okay. Did you shake his hand? I know. It hurt. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Check it out, brother. Mm. Asiatic lilies, yellow snapdragons, hot pink carnations, and purple statis tastefully arranged in an artesian vase. Oh. I call this Tuscan Sunset. Smell it, fellas! Oh. Good stuff, huh? Oh, oh that's great. Huh. It makes me feel calm just smelling it. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Nothing spruces up a place like fresh flowers. Yeah. Can we keep this? No! Okay. I'm sending this to Max von Mean. Oh. oh. I'm taking him on next weekend. And you know, you gotta do something nice for someone before you bludgeon them beyond all recognition. Hey, Max! If you're watching this now, I'll see you this Sunday at the Sportatorium, and you will be vaporized. <sighs> oh, yeah. That's a fresh bouquet. All right. Wow, Hayden, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we got to see the you 
on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Glad I could show it off. Yeah. You know, I think strong people can be gentle. I think strong people should be the most gentle. Mm -hmm. I believe we have a greater responsibility to do so. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh. Cool, Mr. The Vaporizer. A deep thoughts from a strong man. You got that right! Oh. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow. That did not go the way I thought it would go. <laughs> I know, I'm glad it didn't. I yeah. mean, what would we have learned if he was just what we expected him to be? I don't know, he could have taught us how to talk like a wrestler. Well, anyone can do that. No. Can you? Yeah, of course. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Wow. Can I get some water? Hey, fellas. Hey, Kellen, I hope you've got a killer Bible story for us today. That's right, we're ready to have our worlds rocked. Um, okay, I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Today's story comes from the book of Mark. It's a short story that can sometimes be overlooked about people who can sometimes be overlooked. Check out Laundry Theater. <laughs> As Jesus traveled around teaching and healing, he became more and more popular. Crowds of people followed Jesus to see what he would say and do. People had heard stories of Jesus' power. He could give sight to people who couldn't see. He could make people walk. He was strong enough to calm a storm. People knew Jesus was important. Some people brought their children to see Jesus so that he could bless them. But even though meeting Jesus was important, it wasn't always easy. On one occasion, when parents were bringing their children to see Jesus, they were stopped in their tracks by the disciples. The disciples thought Jesus was too busy. He had people to heal and a message to spread. He didn't have time to deal with kids, right? But wait, Jesus had time after all. He got angry with the disciples for keeping the children away. He said, let the little children come to me. Don't keep them away. God's kingdom belongs to people like them. So the disciples did what Jesus said. They let the little children come. Jesus blessed the children as they came to him. He held them in his arms. Maybe the disciples got in on the fun too. We don't know for sure how long Jesus spent with the children. But we do know that the all-knowing, all-powerful, incredibly strong Son of God took time to be gentle and took time to show the little kids that they were loved. The end. Jesus said to his disciples, what I'm about to tell you is true. Anyone who will not receive God's kingdom like a little child will never enter it. That's how important children are to Jesus. He said that even grown-ups should come to God like little children, full of fun and wonder, and with a trust that all their needs would be met. Everyone is valuable to God, no matter how small or how overlooked. Did that rock your world, fellas? It did. Hey, we're learning a lot about gentleness today, Kellen. I love how Jesus took the time to be gentle. Yeah, even though we usually talk about how strong he is. Being strong doesn't mean you can't also be gentle. Sometimes I think it takes strength to be gentle. When you get all angry or you get really passionate about something, your first instinct might be to get all gruff and tough. But if you choose to be gentle, you can calm situations down. You can save relationships. You can make an amazing flower arrangement. Mm -hmm. Sure. Thanks for the story, Kellen. You bet. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Man, what a great show. I agree. Yeah. Reveal! No, no, shh. Did you not listen to the entire show, man? Oh. Just be gentle. Oh, oh yeah, gentle. yeah, you're right. Let me try again. Let me try again. <clears throat> Reveal the question. Today's question is, why is it sometimes hard to be gentle? Mm -hmm. I think it's hard to be gentle when someone says something that makes me mad or hurts my feelings. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's hard for me when I get impatient. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like when I'm trying to help my dad understand how to use his phone and he just doesn't get it. You have to turn the phone around, Dad. It's a video call. No, 
You don't put it to your ear. I'm looking right down your ear canal, Dad. I can't. Yeah, so uh, gentleness can be hard. So you'll need to rely on God and the Holy Spirit to help you. Yes. After all, it takes strength to be gentle. Yes. Are you okay? Yes, I am good. I'm fine. I'm gentle. I'm Me gentle. too. Ah. <sighs> Until next week, that's John. And I'm not Brandon. <laughs> and this was the So and So <laughs> Show. Stay, Stay gentle, gentle, everyone. everyone. That is fluffy broccoli. Not a lily. What, do you, what would you Those call it? Those are yellow daffodils. Oh brother. man! Oh, I thought there was a back scratcher. But I'm doing. Oh, oh easy, brother. easy. Save. If you break this, I will break you. No. Oh. I'm gonna put this one in like a yeah, like that. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Don't ever do that to a flower, bro. I'm the king of floral arrangement. Yeah. What did you say? Uh -oh. I said vaporizer is the king of floral arrangement. Yeah, that's right, Phyllis. Now you're catching on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a little chilly. My popsicles are all frozen and ready to taste and I can't wait. Look, I even have colorful ones. You can make popsicles in so many different ways. These are my sunrise pops with strawberry, mango, and lemon cream. And these are the ones we made today. So excited. What did you think of that story? I love thinking about Jesus telling the disciples, no, let the children come to me. Jesus was so gentle and kind and loving. He wanted everyone to know about him and the disciples didn't expect it. And that's why he said, "Be let the children come unto me because he wanted the disciples to see how gentle he was. And that is who Jesus is. Isn't that cool? Just like our popsicles are cool. Well, before we taste it and get ready to go outside and enjoy this heat with our cool treat, let's pray. God, thank you so much that you are a God of compassion and kindness and gentleness. Thank you that you want us to come to you, whether we're little children or really, really old people. God, you want us all to come to you and know you and love you and be loved by you. God, I pray that you would bless my children and bless my friends here as they are kids coming to see you. God, I pray that they would feel your delight this week. Thank you for this summer, for the fun and the adventures that we're having. I pray for more of it. And, and that we would just have a, a really, really good week. In your name we pray, amen. All right, I am ready. I'm gonna go sit on that stoop with my popsicle woo, and really enjoy the sun. But first, let's taste it together. Do you know what I thought would be really fun? Whipped cream. Mmm, delicious and cold and yummy. All right, friends, remember that I love you, God loves you, and I'll see you next week.